well, well, well. Well, fancy seeing you here. That's right, we're mic'd up at the thrift store, and today we're looking for 2024 trends. Are you surprised? It's the beginning of 2024, and it is no secret that everybody and their grandma has been making 2024 trend prediction videos. Yeah, including me. And with new trends, often comes this urge to take part, to buy a bunch of new stuff just because everyone else is. And maybe some of the trends caught your eye. Maybe you want to try them out. Well, I'm here to tell you, you don't have to. Buy them new, that is. That's right, we're finding 2024 trends at the thrift store. I'm going to show you how easy it is to save your money, save the world, and look cute while doing it. I'm also adding an extra layer of difficulty here for myself in that I don't want to actually buy anything. I'm just here as a tour guide. Oh, what's this? What? Okay, I thought this was some cool Rothko-esque print, but it's just some construction ba paper taped together. I kind of like it. So if you watched my video last week, I went over my personal predictions, so they didn't really, well, they kind of aligned with what people were listing in places like Vogue and WGSN, but they were kind of my hot takes too, so we'll be looking for some of those. As a refresher, we had molten metal oil spill slash iridescent abalone textures. We had knots and harnesses as a print motif, among some other things that I can't remember right now, but on the kind of mass-produced list, there were things like bows, surprise, surprise, polka dots, translucent layers like mesh skirts, super, super short shorts, more office core, more stealth wealth. Preppy was huge. So let's see what we can find. Oh, and how could I forget craft wear fiber arts upcycled looking things? I like this little velvet detail on this raw edge tweed. Very cool. Ooh, hello. I love a Technicolor vintage label. And finally, I know you know this. Wear whatever you want. Wear what you think it looks cool, okay? Can you do that for me? Great, I'm glad we have an understanding. We're in C-suite chic, office core, corp core heaven. This little matching set with the green detail. The only problem with a lot of these two-piece sets is they don't have what you would call a conventionally cool silhouette. Like they might have that awesome structured oversized look with the big shoulder pads and the wide-legged pants. That's like best case scenario for me. But a lot of times it's like these little skinny pants and maybe they just need a little bit of upcycling. You ever considered that? I'm, sh I'm sure you have. Also, we talked about how maybe like wrestling slash boxing aesthetics would be in. I don't think that includes just wearing a Taekwondo gi, but yeah, may probably shouldn't do that. Look at this pretty little baby. I think it's vintage with this pretty little scoop neck in the back. Oh, never mind. Pretty though, very mod. Are you okay? For once, that was not my fault. That was, that was all you, baby. I kind of like this office wear meets patchwork energy. Look at all these different textures. I know I said I wasn't gonna buy anything, but we should at least try it, right? Oh, the hangers are strong today. Also, weren't we just talking about like wrestling vibes? Like this little exercise onesie. It is from Forever 21, so that's a no, but cute. And while we consider this bizarre pillow, let's hear from today's sponsor. You know what they say, new year, nude, me. Oh, they don't say that. But sometimes you gotta put clothes on. And today that starts with our uber comfortable sponsor, Parade. And I know this is a new year, but this relationship goes way back. The vintage high-rise briefs from Parade have been my favorite underwear for years, literal years. The new cotton material is so soft and stretchy without cutting into my skin. If you have wider hips and a bigger booty, you will love these. Also in the colder months, I've been dabbling in the dark arts of the boxer brief. Ooh, specifically these sheer comfort boxer briefs are super nice under my winter layers to add a little extra warmth and a little extra coverage. We'll keep a sexy little pop of color and texture with the silky mesh material. If you haven't tried a longer underwear style in the past, I highly recommend it. It cuts down on chafing and it's just like wearing little shorts. Who doesn't like little shorts? So if you've been looking to up your underwear game this year, you can use my code Kathleen50 to get 50% off site-wide with no minimum order. And if you join me in the Vintage High Rise Brief fan club, let me know. Thank you, Parade. Now let's get back to the video. Okay, I do have kind of an ulterior motive motive for being at the thrift store in general today not just to look for 2024 trends i'm also looking for blank t-shirts specifically like a little baby tee cut t-shirts because we're going to be making some 
thing with them in next week's video. If you're down for a classic little thrift flip, then make sure you subscribe so you're notified when I post it, okay? Perfect. I think this is supposed to mean like, I'm beauty, but I'm also a softball beast, but I like to think they're in love. <laughs> Hell yeah, Wendy. You absolute firecracker. Yo, this t-shirt does not have to go this hard. And this is definitely just like a homemade iron-on print. Somebody just had to have some never-ending story merch. What did I tell you, bootleg merch? This may be like an obvious thrifting tip for you, but don't sleep on the miscellaneous pant aisle. Not the denim pants, not the business pants, but the one in between that's like stretchy pants and corduroy and Hold please. Maybe you'll find two pairs of vintage leather pants and some brand new free people loungewear pants. Maybe you'll find some cool chef pants. I don't know what you'll find. That's the magic of it. There's someone right behind me. Bark off. Let's look at candles. That was her. I've had a few instances during this specific thrift trip of people just acting wild. <laughs> either getting way too close to me or doing that thing where like you're looking on a rack and they come right in front of you and start looking the other way and then expect you to move who does that i don't know maybe i'm the problem but i have like specific almost rules for when i'm shopping like rules of engagement so that we can all have a fun time do you guys have rules like that i know it's different country to country too but like generally if someone's on an aisle you get behind them instead of in front of them so that they have the free space to move forward or if you get in front of them you go the same direction that they're going you know what i mean common sense stuff like that or maybe i'm just making up rules to start fights because that's that's totally my personality <laughs> hold on you're sitting on some candles one sec tempting. Ooh, that's a lot of candles. Can't really be good to burn silver paint, can it? Do I need a travertine trinket dish that is in itself a trinket of its own? Eight dollars. I don't even know what to think about that. Look how cutest little etched vase I've ever seen. I found this lamp. It's just a little wooden piece with a little light bulb in there. I'm sure you're supposed to put something on top like a sconce or a chunk of salt, but I kind of just like it as a little lamp. Uh, but the problem is I can't find any outlets. Usually I try to scout them out and know where they are in every thrift store I go to, but this one is a mystery. But you know where it does have an outlet? The bathroom. So if anybody asks, I'm not stealing. I'm not doing anything weird. I'm just plugging a lamp from the thrift store into the bathroom by the toilet. Okay, okay. I'm not stealing, I'm not stealing, I'm not stealing. Doesn't work. Wait, I wasn't even screwed in. Okay, let's try again. Dun, 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 Eureka. You're coming home with me, toilet light. The bow girlies are gonna go crazy for this one. Found this little white dress, and guess what it had? That's right, a big bow. I'm guessing this is like a reception dress. How does this work? She's built for a very tiny human. Oh yeah. Well, what do you think? Thoughts? Let's see if I can hulk out of it. Yeah. Hi, it's voiceover Kathleen again. You may or may not have noticed that this video is a little more casual, maybe a little shorter than usual. I thought we could just have a chill little fun time at the thrift store together. Almost like we're on FaceTime together or something. So let me know what you think. Maybe we can do more of these in the coming months. But for now, back to thrifting. Let's try some stuff on. Specifically, um, two pairs of leather pants, these free people lounge pants, and the chef pants. As a pants day, I guess. Are any of these specifically 2024 trends? Maybe. Maybe if I get them. Who's to say? If you haven't gathered yet, I'm not wearing any pants. And the 2024 trends aren't really the point of the video. I just wanted to come hang out with you at the thrift store. And I, and I needed a reason to convince you to come hang out with me. Is that toxic friendship? I don't know. Wait, you fit perfectly. I don't think a pair of pants have ever fit me so perfectly. And look at the rise on these guys. My belly button's right here. That's gotta be a 12 inch rise. The only problem, the bottoms are tapered. Ew. I, I don't like that but they fit me so good, they fit me so right. Interesting, let's try these ones on. They have a bit of a wider leg to them. Oh my gosh, these pants smell like death. Oh, get them off. Sometimes you go to the thrift store and you smell a bad smell. 
It's just a part of life. And then sometimes you decide to sit on the floor to film your outro segment and you find this really cute hand-knitted pot grabber thing. What are these called? Ain't that just the way that life is? Anyways, we found some cool 2024 trendy items here at the thrift store. We found some surprise leather items at the thrift store. And we found some baby tees for next week's video. So all in all, a big one of these. I have to get out of here. I actually probably should have left 10 minutes ago. So we will meet again next week to work on some DIY thrift flips. Feel free to subscribe. Or if you wanna hang out during the week, you can come hang out on Instagram. I'm actually gonna be in San Francisco next week doing some thrifting and things like that that and I'll be posting on Instagram about that. So it should be an exciting week. Thank you so much for 69,000 subscribers. Nice. And I hope you have a super stinky week. Wait, stinky pants? Stinky life. Wow. Poetry. Okay, bye. See ya. Bye. See ya. Bye. Bye.